This will change automatically, for example, if the queue number starts at 101, the next number will change sequentially. First of all we design the queue number according to what we want. Right click on the queue number cell, choose format cell, custom and delete general. Replace with 000 for 3 digits number or 00 for 2 digits. Write down the date. Right click on the date cell, format cells. date and choose locale location. Block all the cell and choose center alignment. Select the text font and its size. Choose bold and give border. Hover over column A until you see an arrow pointing down, then left click. Move the cursor to column C, hold Ctrl then left click, do the same for column E and G, set the column width. Other columns will automatically adjust. Do the same for the spacing between columns. Block column A, then copy, and paste it in column C. In the number section in column C press F2, then enter the formula type equal sign, then click the previous cell plus 1 and enter. In the date cell we enter the formula, type equal sign, then click the previous date cell, then add dollar as in the video.
The date will always follow the first column. Copy column C, and paste it in columns E and G. Paste it also in column A, of second row. Edit the formula type equal sign, and then click the cell number in columns G, first row, and type plus one. Block column C, through G, then copy and paste them in column C, of the second row. Now we have 8 numbers. For the next column and row, just copy and paste. This will change automatically, for example, if the Q number starts at 101, the next number will change sequentially. If you change the date in the first column, first row, then other columns will follow automatically.